Hello everyone, this is Kevin Alexander with AltaVista Technology. We'll look at how you can collaborate with Dynamics 365 records from within inside Microsoft Teams. We often have meetings with customers ourselves uh, using Teams. And after meeting with that customer, we have to take those notes and then add them to our conversation uh, on the customer account inside of Dynamics 365. Now we can directly connect to Dynamics 365 from Microsoft Teams. You'll first need your system administrator to enable the integration with Teams. So in uh, Dynamics 365, under administration and your system settings, you'll have the Microsoft Teams integration uh, set up. It's simply two radio buttons. Next, let's go into our uh, Teams application. And inside of uh, your Teams application, you can integrate a Dynamics 365 record with any channel. Now, you can do this uh, with any existing channel that you have uh, in Teams by using the plus button here at the top. Uh, we, uh, I have the structure here where I have a separate channel for each account. And so I'm going to create a brand new channel and add that uh, Dynamics 365 record. And add channel. Our channel is going to be for Tailspin Toys. So I'll add this in and uh, we'll leave that a public channel. So I've got uh, this channel. I want to go ahead and connect it to my Dynamics 365 account record for Tailspin Toys. You can select the plus right here to add a tab. And the tab that we want to add is Dynamics 365. Select the, and it's showing me a list of recent records that I've worked with over in uh, Dynamics 365. And I'm going to go ahead and select Tailspin Toys. And once this is completed, uh, you'll see the successful notification of the connection with Dynamics 365, and that will appear right up here on the menu bar. And now you can interact with records as if you were using Dynamics 365 itself. So we'll go full screen here a little bit, and see now I've got my Tailspin Toys record embedded in Teams. And uh, let's just pivot over to... Uh, the Dynamics 365 application itself, and under my accounts, uh, I will select our uh, Tailspin Toys. Right. So I'll have all the same uh, same interactions that I have right here. You can have right inside of Teams itself, and we're able to add activity records and notes right inside the Teams application as we're interacting uh, with this customer or you know, internally among ourselves. From here, we can, uh, in our chat, we can make posts as well as uh, work with files. So up here in my uh, Teams application, if I open up the chat, and I might type here, you know, welcome our new customer. Right. And this chat, this post that I made to chat here uh, is on this uh, channel uh, for Tailspin uh, Toys as well. So if I we come back here and collapse the tab and uh, I look at posts, and see here's that uh, chat right in line. Uh, in chats uh, that you don't uh, make directly to the tab, right? Uh, stand by themselves here under post. So as an example, um, so they make quality toys. And uh, this particular post, if I come back to the tab for Tailspin Toys, right, does not show up in there. So this chat is specific to the tab that we're looking at. Now, you may also work with files uh, in, with your Dynamics 365 record. You may be already doing this in Dynamics 365. So let's uh, expand that, and we'll close our chat window. 
And you'd be used to getting to your files uh, either from a tab or under your related information. So we'll click on files. And we'll note that I don't have any files here. Uh, this is showing me my team's location. So you can associate your, your records um, uh, in Dynamics 365 with several different uh, uh, file sources. So SharePoint, right? Teams from SharePoint or OneDrive for SharePoint, right? Those are all different uh, file locations. And in this case, I can see uh, my uh, team's files here. Now, I can upload them from here uh, like, uh, we're no like we normally do. Or uh, I can work with them inside of the channel itself. So if we go back and we collapse... Um, that record again and we come to files I'm just going to drag a record in here really quickly grab that file drop it in my team's location so we're under files and teams but if we come back to our tab in tailspin toys and look at files now for tailspin we'll see that same that same record here as well. And if we uh, move over to Dynamics 365, the uh, application itself, and look at files, right? I'm seeing all, I'm seeing that file uh, from whatever application that I'm accessing it from. And actually the next question is, well, that's, that's great. I can work with uh, my records inside of Teams, but often you know, I might find myself over in the Dynamics 365 application, and I want to get to um, those uh, collaborative uh, conversations and files that I was working on over in Teams. And so you can do that right here from the Dynamics 365 record itself. And you do that by selecting the Collaborate button uh, from the menu. Now, if you don't see it right up here on top, it'll be under the ellipse. And if I select Collaborate, this is going to show me a list of all the uh, records in Teams that this account record is associated to. And there's that one, uh, we just have the one account record. And if I uh, select down there and say Start to Collaborate, it will go ahead and open up my Teams application. You know, there it took me straight into Tailspin Toys. So let's finish this off by pulling uh, everything together with a little bit of automation. And so between Teams and Dynamics 365, uh, we're going to add Power Automate in the mix. And if you're not familiar with Power Automate, it's a way of uh, creating workflows between apps and services that, you know, uh, create records or update them, move information around. So it's a very uh, uh, powerful tool for helping automate some of your business processes. And the one we'd like to automate here is uh, I have a case that I'm going to open up against Tailspin Toys. And when we open up cases, I'd like it to uh, create a uh, channel um, automatically for me under service so that we can relate all this together and notify the service team in this uh, team as well. So let's take a look at what, uh, how that works. I'm going to create a new case. And first, we'll give ourselves full screen here. And uh, we'll come under Related and scroll down to Cases. And we'll create a new case uh, really quickly here. So we'll just need to give a couple pieces of information. Tailspin team case demo. And we're going to save and close. And as that happens, a, a few things are happening now on the uh, back end uh, with Power Automate. And so let's collapse this and look at what's going on with our teams. So the first thing that happened, if I, I can look down here under customer service, you can see I've got uh, this channel's bolded, which, which means there's something new in that channel for me to look at. 
So if I click on that General tab, uh, we can see here that a new service case has been received. And I've got uh, bolded channels, means we've got this brand new channel for this uh, case has been created. So now I can uh, select uh, that particular channel and we could come up and add our Dynamics 365 record here if we'd like. Let's see that brand new team case, right? So recent, just got created. We can go ahead add that and click save and now I've got that integrated case record uh, within Teams as well. We can see how Teams is our modern workspace and then we can pull other applications together with Teams to improve our workflow and collaboration with one another. I hope you found this video useful and we'll see you again soon with another one. In the meantime, please contact us if you'd like to learn more. And if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. And if it's your first time with us, click that subscribe button to stay current on all of our content. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.